Hi, welcome back to Self Wired Happiness. My name is Monica. Here at Self Wired Happiness, we unlock the secrets to a long, happy, and successful life. On our last episode, I insisted that in order to get a grasp of your mental health, you must first understand the nervous system. The secrets to good mental health lie in your nervous system. In today's video, we are going to talk about brain waves and how brain waves control your nervous system and how they can enhance your mental health. Hi, welcome back to Self Quiet Happiness. If you read from Dr. Joe Dispenza in his book Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, then he really talks about brain waves. I was reading from Dr. Joe Dispenza in his book Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. He explains the brain waves, and I'll try to do a job of explaining them but i'm probably not as good as him so make sure that you get a hold of his book breaking the habit of being yourself so he says in his book as we grow up our brain waves move from delta to theta to alpha and then to beta when we meditate we want to move from beta to alpha to theta to delta so we want to do the reverse of how we not normally grow. So as we grow from birth, we move from delta to theta to alpha and then to beta brain waves. Kids, when they are between birth and two years old, they are in delta. We have the same brain waves, the delta brain waves when we are sleeping. So when we are in deep sleep, we are in the delta brain waves. These brain waves, they are very slow. In terms of the cycles per second, these brain waves are the slowest. And they make you, you get these brain waves when your brain is not taking any information from the environment. This is the kind of brain waves that you get. When kids move from two years old to five years old, they move to theta brain waves. This means that they are processing the information that, that they are getting from the environment. They are very imaginative with this information. So mostly kids, they are imagining things at this stage. If you think that your kid is in a trance-like state, it's because they are in theta brain waves. As they move between ages of five or six, to eight years old, kids are in alpha. In alpha, they can process information in their internal world and they can process information in their external world. So they are both worlds, the inner and outer worlds are very real to them. And so they are very good at pretending. If a kid can pretend to be a dolphin very well, they can pretend to be Cinderella very well because they are in the subconscious mind at this stage. So the brain waves, the delta, the theta, and the alpha brain waves, these dominate the subconscious mind. As kids move from ages of eight years old to 12 years old and 13 years old, they move into the beta brain waves. Between the ages of 12 years old and 13 years old, something happens this door between the subconscious and the conscious mind really closes. The only time you will experience the subconscious mind is only when you're waking up or when you're going to bed, but you won't live in that state as an adult. You become very conscious and analytical and you go into the beta brain waves. Okay, now you're an adult and you're in the beta brain waves. As they move from the ages of eight years old to 12 years old, they move into beta waves. When it comes to beta waves, 
that's where most adults live in the in the in the beta brain waves because as you reach the work towards ages of 12 years old to 13 years old the door and the window to the subconscious mind is closed and now you're in the beta brain waves when you're in the beta brain waves you're more logical you're not in the subconscious anymore the subconscious mind opens up little windows when we are about to sleep or when we are waking up but most of the time we are going to stay in the beta brain waves the beta brain waves there are three types of beta brain waves there is the low the medium and high beta brain waves there are three types of beta brain waves we have the low beta the mid range beta and the high range beta if you're reading a book and you're enjoying the material and you're probably familiar with that material so it's you're not you know you're in low beta you can you can understand the material and you're enjoying it if i ask you to explain that material that you just read you will have to you 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 have to process more information than just when you're reading so you will move into mid beta brain waves if you're anxious you will move into high beta brain waves these high beta brain waves are the brain waves that we want to avoid when you're anxious stressed out fearful annoyed angry you're in these high beta brain waves you're focused on something very much but you're losing the bigger picture this is when parts of your brain stops communicating with others because you're too hyper focused on one thing this is kind of like traumatizing to the brain so if you want to correct that we meditate and then we move to alpha brain waves you have to calm down from high beta all the way down to at least alpha and theta states so that your brain can start building some sort of coherence and this is where the brain mastering your brain waves become very life changing the high beta is when you're anxious and depressed so when we want you to move from high beta to alpha is because you want to slow down your brain waves to a place where you are more creative and more imaginative you have to think about if you if you want good mental health and you're in a state of burnout and if you're anxious you need to slow down and when we slow down we slow down the brain waves if you move your brain waves to alpha then these brain waves they are sending a coherent signal to your whole nervous system and then you're able to maintain great mental health so how do you move yourself from high beta to alpha meditation i want you to listen to a small clip by dr robert monroe dr robert monroe is known because of his work in uh, brain waves and encouraging people to use brain waves just listen to what he says about brain waves and why they can be helpful for you and your mental states the sound of ocean surf of waves a natural sound most people find pleasing and relaxing it is a sound of natural energy a natural energy always present when the ocean meets the shore the sound of waves of energy in action this is why it is a symbol at the beginning of each training exercise because you are going to learn to use waves of your own natural energy you will learn to focus these and direct these energy waves that even now are a natural part of you waves of vibrational energy your heart for example is beating to create pulsations or waves of blood flow throughout your body a slow vibration of energy at work 
You breathe air in and out of your lungs, slow pulsing waves of energy you create and use. You talk and you create faster waves of vibrational energy in the air around you. You listen as you are doing now and your ear takes one vibrational energy and creates another that your brain can understand. All of these and many, many more are natural energy vibrations that you generate and use every moment you exist. And for the most part, you are not consciously aware of doing so. And that brings us to the point where we are right now. This exercise and others to come will help you learn to create and use consciously for your own mental and physical well-being such natural energy. You will learn to perceive it, to tune it, to focus it, to direct it whenever and wherever you so desire. You will be able to control it with your conscious mind rather than being controlled by its non-conscious activity. You can do this calmly and without fear because it is only another part of you. Because it is your own life energy belonging to you and to no one else. Many wonderful things can happen when you do control your own vibrational energy and you will discover these as you progress through these training exercises. The important thing is you have brain waves you are made of waves and their coherence will help you create coherence in your body if you have gone through childhood trauma one of the things that happens is that some parts of your brains stop communicating with each other and the way to cure that kind of trauma is to bring in aggression through your body so really when you try those brain balancing brain waves they can really help create more coherence and in your nervous system because of correcting the waves that are firing in your brain i know this sounds a little out there but this is science and this works so uh, do not discount it brain waves are really important for you to learn when you're learning about the interaction of your brain and your nervous system. So if we're talking like the best brain waves that you can have, it will be the gamma waves. And these are seen in experienced meditators. They have high, higher states of happiness, awareness, compassion, kindness, and good, great memory. If we're talking about an elevated state, we are looking at the gamma waves you gain this one through meditation and meditation is moving away from high beta range waves of your brain waves so where do you get the good brain waves for your brain what i can say is you can meditate i have used um, youtube videos where they have like alpha waves to help me go into alpha or theta brain waves one of the best way one of the best videos i have on youtube is that is the brain hemising by robert monroe he talks about how cia uses these brain waves to help you know their agencies their agents achieve good mental health okay there's so many videos out there on youtube and they encourage you to go back into the alpha brain waves. In fact, they say some of the best morning routines is to put your brain back to alpha in the beginning of the day so that you stay in that state. At least for the majority of the day, it works to your advantage. I have used some of the brain waves and I think there is something to them. I think they can be very, very helpful. And that is why I'm sharing them here, obviously. So, yeah, that is what I have on brainwaves. You try them out and let me know how you think about them. You can always follow me on Wired Happiness, on my Wired Happiness page on Facebook and post, you know, on that page, whatever you are doing to wiring happiness for yourself. And whatever you're doing to make sure that you live this life that you have you live it happily 
it's your life and you deserve to be happy no matter what has happened in the past whether people did not love you maybe your parents did not even acknowledge you or they did not even want you or you grew up with people who were just mean still this is your life and you're still here and you deserve to be happy so i hope that you enjoy this video and you start rewiring your mind don't wait for events in your life to happen so that you can be happy i read somewhere that happiness is the way there is no other time for you to start wiring your happiness now is the time to start wearing wiring that happiness so that your happiness follows you in your life dreams sometimes can take a long time to come true but before they do i want you to still be happy and you even if it's not automatic because of where you're coming from you can still wire in happiness because science tells us that we can wire in happiness where attention goes energy flows and where energy flows neuro firing flows and where neuro firing flows neuro connections grow it's all about training the mind training your own mind to love itself to like itself to enjoy life because this is your birthright this life is your birthright and you deserve to be happy thanks again for tuning in to self quiet happiness i love you please like subscribe and share and until next time Namaste.